Welcome back to Wheel and Command Pro Tips. In this episode, I'm going to talk about installation IDs. Assigning installation IDs is something you have to do whenever you have duplicate WeCan X hardware. So if you have two Remote 8 or Remote 16 expansions, or two 21 and slide WCX control heads. Essentially what we're doing is we're telling the hardware to identify itself, so when we program our configurations, it knows where to send the instructions. Without installation IDs, Sencom Core can't tell which duplicate hardware is what. So what you need to do is connect either a powered control point WCX or Sencom core to your PC and have one or all the peripherals connected to your device that you need to assign a installation ID to. Once you've got that done, you can go over to the W dropdown and click on assign installation ID. So in this window, we can see that I have two remote 16 expansion modules connected and they currently have an ID of unassigned. So any new hardware that you get is going to have the unassigned uh, installation ID. So we can also see that some devices have NA for current installation ID. That's because these devices, we can have only one of them. So our Sencom Core, our Sencom Core internal IO, and our internal Siren cannot be assigned installation IDs. That's because they don't need one since there's always going to be only one of them. So those are disabled and those will always show not applicable. So in this example, I'm going to pretend that I'm going to install one of my remote 16 expansions in the front of my vehicle and the other remote 16 expansion is going to go into the back. We need to give them different numbers so the configuration knows when I program my remote 16, which instructions go to which one. So what I'm going to do is say that this remote 16 is going to be number one. So since it's already set at one, I'm just going to click assign. So you can see now that the current ID field changed and now says that it has an installation ID of one. So since I already have my second remote 16 expansion connected, I'm just going to check that one now and give it the installation ID of two. And once again, click assign. So now what I've done is given both my remote 16 expansions a unique installation ID. That's great. I'm all set with this window so I can go ahead and close it. And I can now continue with programming my actual configuration. So I'm just going to come in and grab a control head and since I said I have two remote 16 expansions, I'm gonna grab those as well. So we can see that by default, my hardware screen is going to give a unique installation ID to each of the remote 16 expansions that I've added. And since I said that the one that I've given the ID of one is going to go into the front, I'm going to call this remote 16 front. And the one that I've given the ID of two is going to be remote 16 back since it's going into the back of the vehicle. This name part is strictly just for the sake of ease on my end. You don't have to obviously give it a name if you don't want to, but I always recommend giving a name to your hardware so that it makes sense to you. So one thing we can do right now is actually go back into the assign installation ID window. And if we refresh it, we'll see that the config match column now fills out. It says that the remote 16 expansion that I named front matched up to the remote 16 expansion I gave an installation ID of one and the remote 16 expansion that I named back matched up to the remote 16 that I gave them an installation ID of two. And so since this is desired, this is what I wanted to do, I'm all set. So this window coming back into it is just a way to double check to make sure everything is going to go in the right place. I can now close this window and grab any other hardware that I want. Otherwise I can just click continue and continue making my configuration. So again, this is all you need to do to assign installation IDs. The rest of the configuration can be programmed as desired. We always recommend that if you need to go and change the installation ID on a hardware, you don't do it in the configuration. You go and actually change it on the hardware itself. That about covers everything you need to know about assigning installation IDs. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more Wheel and Command Pro Tips.